Okay, elementary teachers, here's another tip for you. I'm going to show you how to do virtual field trips. And um, there's a lot already there. You can choose and pick and, uh, and edit any of these lessons, but type in field trip in Nearpod Library. It was just on our dashboard. You can go into kindergarten. That will show you all the ones that are appropriate. But you might find uh, uh, some that you can re-edit or you can use for other ones. I saw one down here when I was previewing this uh, and I like it because it's in Russia. It takes you to Russia. Let me show you what that would be like. So you can preview the lesson then you can use it uh, and you can take bits that you like or you can use the whole thing. So let me actually get to the VR part of it and there's instructions. It's pretty easy and um, like any of the, the Nearpods and right here is your first virtual reality. Now, of course, if you have don't have the goggles, it's not as effective. This might be something that you invest in, but uh, it would look like this. Um, and so you, students can explore and get a taste. Now, it's not just Russia, obviously, and some of them are very short and some of them are much more elaborate. I think this one has two or three sections where you can actually explore different aspects but you can take a look and maybe this is some a, a great way to get your classroom into the world all right here's a great tip for you it's a, what i'm calling a, what was referred to as virtual recess and it's basically a great way to put some structured movement into your classrooms now obviously if we go into distance learning a, a, a situation again you can think you know you should sit in there for a long time let's incorporate some movement in that and here's a structured way to do that but also in you know face to face in the schools themselves if it's bad or yucky outside um having having this as a, as a lesson or a part of a recess would be a great idea or you notice that your class could really benefit from some extra movement in your lessons or in your class day so again this is my dashboard and then going into the nearpod library you can bring your own materials your own videos your own exercises but maybe that's not your groove that's not your strength so you can find any uh, any of the material now if you look under here you, there's some content or lessons that are made by third party publishers and some of them are pretty impressive like a lot of them are pretty impressive so you can go through that and there's a wealth of knowledge that you can actually use and adapt so I'm gonna go into this one it's called Zumba uh, I'm not you know again this is not something I could actually teach this is a whole lesson so maybe you're only gonna use it a little bit or you're just gonna go in and just say hey um, but Again, it's standard. It gives you some something to talk about an essential question, learning objectives, and it starts talking about you know wh why you want to do Zumba, and um, and then there's a video. So let's dance. Of course, we're not going to go through the whole thing, but I'll just give you a little taste of it. Hi, I'm Henry. Get ready to pop to beat go pop. Don't worry about getting the moves right. Just let loose and have fun. So again, you, you know, if you need 10 minute movement um, and you could actually put this into your slide, incorporate it as a, like a, a surprise, you know, slide um, in, in your new near pod, or you could have, actually have like, you know, you know that you're not going to go out for recess today. So you, you um, have this set up already. So that's virtual. Okay, here's another tip. It, this example that I'm going to show you is about using phonics, teaching phonics with Nearpod, and and through a, a little video. And this one is called Alpha Blocks. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it really doesn't matter because you could use this technique in almost anything that you're doing. If you have a little cute video, we all see great videos, but either it's not enough to justify bringing it into your classroom and spending time watching it, or it's just uh, not interactive enough activity. So here's a great way that you could bring any material just by incorporating pauses um, and activities in those pauses. So I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of the introduction here and then uh, I'll show you the questions. Oh, yeah. So the first question is, what words could you make with the letter pairs TH or CH? And, and students are typing in their own answer to it. Our two teams are about ready to go. First up, 
cheer and chant for the reigning champions, C.H. <laughs> and going up against them, S.H. <laughs> So you can see how super cute that is, how, you know, again, it's a great video, but in, you don't break it down, you don't, it's not engaging, it's not, it, it's not learning enough. But I'll show you some of the other activities, what words did the letter P pair CH try to make that's not a real word, and this is a multiple choice one, and you can go through a whole video like this, um, you need the letter pairs, and then again, you know, you're practicing your phonics and, and, and checking and see what the students already know. Now, how could you use this in, in, in other ways? <laughs> it's totally limited to only your imagination.